The Commodore 64, now in a home family pack. A family pack containing the world's number one selling home computer. Two versions of Congo Bongo exist for the Commodore 64, from 1983 and 1985 respectively. The latter is more faithful to the arcade original, but it was the first one that I remember mostly. Casting my mind back to the very early 80s, I seem to recall my brother got this one for us, again on one of his trusty Turbo Lord cassettes, and it wasn't until many years later when I realised there were two versions. So, let's look at them both. The gameplay borrows from the classic Donkey Kong, in that there is an angry gorilla who wants to throw things at you. In this case, it's coconuts rather than barrels. Congo Bongo, which was basically Sega's attempt at cashing in on their success of their earlier collaboration with Konami on Frogger, as well as Nintendo's Donkey Kong. Admittedly, Congo Bongo is not one of the best games of its time, but it does have plenty of charm that only games of this particular age have. In the 1983 version here, there are only two levels, but with numerous perils between you and Congo in the shape of abysses, torrential rivers, falling coconuts, monkeys gone wild, snakes and rhinos. But hippos, huge piranhas and floating lily leaves will help in crossing the rivers, and also monkeys that have taken a seat on your back can be shaken off again. In the first level, you climb a steep rock wall cross torrential rivers and fight with a horde of monkeys gone wild which try to push you from a cliff. At the very top sits Congo Bongo, obviously a mean relative of Donkey Kong. It also throws things down at you, but this time no barrels, but coconuts that do not hurt any less. When you have reached the summit of the hill, the game continues with the second level. The second level, heavily inspired by Frogger, you need to jump onto lily leaves, hippos and piranhas to cross over the lagoon. Once you arrive at the other side of the dangerous river, you will need to avoid the blue rhino I think. Yeah, we'll say rhino, there's clearly some sort of horn there on its nose. After that, you've only got to climb the small rock ledge and you've defeated the insidious gorilla. That was it. That was the game I first played as a kid, and when I look back now, it certainly would still have some immediate appeal to young gamers. Those who have an adventurous spirit and don't want their games to be too brutally difficult, as most games of the time were. In that sense, it's a good option for bringing kids of this generation to play games years older than themselves. There was a cool commercial too for the 1983 game. Say, a funny thing happened when I started to play Congo Bongo. Hey, these nuts are crazy. Who are these guys? Hey, fellas, let's not get carried away. Oh, no. Maybe I'll go for a swim. On second thought, maybe I'll go for a walk. Hey, lady, this is a one-way street. Hey, that's the guy I've been looking for. Congo Bongo. Buy it now and save $5 on Star Trek or Buck Rogers. Now that should put a smile on your face. <laughs> So what of the 1985 version? Well, like I mentioned, I never even knew of its existence until many years later, and didn't even really play the game in the arcades either, so I had nothing to compare the 83 version to. However, I've played it more recently on my Commodore 64, and in the arcades, and I actually like this game. This is the version that most will remember, and I believe many will have had this on cartridge format. Again, a similar concept to the 1983 version, only this time with four levels. In the first level, again, you climb a steep rock wall, cross torrential rivers, and fight with a horde of monkeys gone wild, which try to push you from the cliff. After this, the rest of the game differs a lot from the original one I played. For example, in level 2, at the Snake Lake, you fight your way from island to island, between aggressive scorpions and hungry snakes. The latter start the chase over the narrow paths with which the islands are connected as soon as you have entered one of them. 
If you have managed to avoid them successfully, you can rescue yourself by jumping onto the back of a hippo to get to the other side. Level 3, you need to avoid deadly puddles and steer clear of the rhino. You can either jump over them, hide from them in one of the holes, or simply avoid them. Then all that's left is to climb up to Congo Bongo. The final part is another Frogger inspired level, where again you should swim on lily leaves, hippos, and this time fish that look more like carp than piranhas. Then there's the blue rhino again, and finally the climb to the ledge. Once you have done this, the game starts again at level 1, with the next higher difficulty. In all honesty, Congo Bongo is a game that was best experienced back when I was a kid. Nevertheless, I think everyone from all ages should definitely try this game. Thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to hit the like button and let me know which version you preferred in the comment section. If you're enjoying the nostalgia and want to continue with me on this epic journey revisiting classic Commodore games, then please consider subscribing to the channel. Your support goes a long way and it's always massively appreciated. Well, that was Congo Bongo, and I hope to see you all in the next one. Until then, bye for now.